Torque describes the twisting force about a shaft. The amount of torque applied is determined by the distance from the centre of the shaft to the end of the lever and the amount of force being applied to the end of the lever. Distance multiplied by force equals torque. The manufacturer applies a measured torque to a bolt or nut to ensure that it will not slacken in use and to hold two components securely together without movement in the joint. The actual torque setting depends on the thread size, bolt or nut material and the composition of the components being held. Too little torque may cause the fastener to loosen due to vibration, whereas too much torque will distort the joint faces of the component or cause the fastener to shear. A torque wrench will enable you to tighten the fastener to the optimum setting advised by the manufacturer. Torque is expressed in newton meters or foot pounds and most torque wrenches have scales in both units. Note that the smaller torque figures are expressed in inch pounds on the imperial scale. Refer to the list of torque settings in the manual. The manufacturer will either express them as a single unit or as a range. For example, 8 to 10 newton meters, in which case set the torque wrench to 9 newton meters. Note that the same figure can also be specified as 9 plus or minus 1 newton meter. One torque wrench will not cover the wide range of torque settings for the motorcycle, which can range from 4 to 150 newton meters. This large torque wrench covers 60 to 330 newton meters and has a half inch drive. Medium size wrenches are available with 3 8 or half inch drives. This one covers 20 to 100 newton meters. The small torque wrench covers 4 to 20 newton meters and has a 3 8 inch drive. Digital torque wrenches provide angle and torque modes with easy selection between newton meters, foot pounds, and inch pounds. Most torque wrenches are designed to torque in the clockwise direction only, although often the ratchet head has a switch for reversing the drive. It should be noted though that initial slackening is best done with a breaker bar rather than placing high load on the torque wrench. If tightening a left hand thread fastener, use a torque wrench where you can push the drive through to the other side of the wrench. Look up the torque setting in the manual. Rotate the handle of the torque wrench to align the setting on its scale, in this case 30 newton meters, with the reference mark. Then lock the handle. With the correct size socket installed, fit the torque wrench and operate the ratchet until the wrench clicks, indicating the setting has been reached. Unlock the handle and wind it back to the beginning of the scale. You're likely to use a smaller torque wrench with a screwdriver bit. Tighten the screw lightly by hand, then set and lock the torque wrench and apply the specified torque. Reset the tool to the beginning of its scale afterwards. Treat the torque wrench with care, observing a few simple rules. Avoid dropping the torque wrench. Don't allow the torque wrench to rattle around in the toolbox. Keep it separate from other tools. Don't use the torque wrench for slackening. Use a breaker bar instead. Always reset the torque wrench to zero or the beginning of its scale after use.